Well, I was here, uh, I don't know, for the first time, when was it, last Saturday, and I uh, saw Kim and Elise. They were really good then, they were good tonight, and uh, they can take this as far as they want. My name is Jim Hayne, I'm from Wisconsin. Uh, normally I just write my own stuff, very rarely do I play a cover, much less a cover by a female, much less two females. But the guitar player on this song was a guy named Steve Earle, and I heard him do it, and I figure if he can get by with it, uh, we'll try this. My friends, they wash the windows till they shine in the sun. Wake up sometime early in the morning, say what a beautiful job they've done. Say, let's put on some tunes, sing along, do a little all day. Go down to the river and take off our shoes and wash these sins away. River said, la la la, said, oh, shame on you. We'll be dancing tonight, you know, la la la, baby, oh, shame on you. Down to Chicano City Park, and it makes me feel so fine. Trippin' in the middle of the night Up in Gainesville town You got the blue lights flashing down A long dirt road said, hey, can you step down You see, we're looking for illegal immigrants Can we check y'all's car? Funny, I think we were on the same boat Back in 1694 Hear them singing La, 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 said, whoa, shame on you They'll be dancing tonight, you know, la, 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 said, oh, shame on you. Let's go roadblock trippin' in the middle of the night up in Gainesville town. They've got the blue lights flashing down a long dirt road saying, hey, can you step down? You see, we're looking for illegal immigrants. Can we check y'all's car? Funny, I think we were on the same boat back in 1694. You can hear them singing. La 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 said, whoa, baby, shame on you. Let me dance tonight, you know. La 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 said, oh, shame on you. I said, bum ba da da, I said, bum ba da da, I said, bum ba da da, I said, oh, 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 Sorry, I'm also pretty raspy. I brought a cold back with me from the Midwest. Um, and if it sounds as raspy out there as it does up here, it could do the, um, the Eastern world. It is exploding, violence flaring, baby, bullets loading. <clears throat> Which is Barry McGuire, for those of you who are, well, since most of the audience is the same age as my belt. You wouldn't know who that is. It's a song that I wrote. I'm from a, a small town called Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And uh, everybody has probably seen a picture of Eau Claire, a place called Fernier's Ballroom. It's not there anymore, but it lasted up through about 1980. And there's a very famous black and white picture of a stage with a, a slanted ceiling behind it and Buddy Holly on lead guitar and Waylon Jennings on bass 
and it was a week before they went to Clear Lake, Iowa, in the plane crash, and that was in Furniers. And my oldest cousin was a rock and roll guitar player in a regional band that opened for guys like Del Shannon and Roy Orbison. And uh, when you got a, your oldest cousin drives a Corvette convertible and plays a Stratocaster, it makes an impression on you. But they did back then, they sold 45s, and they did one, and they drove for 24 straight hours handing it out to radio stations. And that was back when they'd give out these, like, weekly top 40 things at the drive-in. And my cousin's band had the number one song in the Midwest with their version of a song written by Barry Gordy and Barrett Strong. So anyway, this was after he passed away. I wrote this song, and uh, his band, they're, re they're still playing. And if you're going to have a band from 1962, you call it the Thunderman. And uh, I got to do this song with the surviving members at their 50th anniversary dance. Was the biggest thing these small town eyes had ever seen. A Corvette cars and screaming guitars chasing a rock and roll dream. It seemed like just yesterday, but the sands of time slip away. I close my eyes and I can still hear him play. On a magical Thunderman night He was the poster child for Why we should stay in school My oldest cousin man A chrome-plated king of cool In those hot summer festival tents I'd worship in pure reverence The amplified danger With butch wax innocence on a magical thunderman night When the white walls hummed in harmony On adrenaline all night drives They hit number one on AXX With their own red hot 45s Now the memory lanes of my hometown Are paved by those Eau Claire boys laying down That three chord moment in time in their white tuxedo jackets, they were all the rage. The Furnier's ballroom exploded when the Thundermen hit the stage. Mickey Sticks clicked one, two, three, four. Al sang Jerry's bass shook the floor. But that Stratocaster, that's what I came there for. Oh, on a magical Thunderman night. Well, the band broke up and I never quite knew why. But 20 years later, the boys gave it one more try. And the message rode on the wind that the band was rocking again. And the Gidget girls and the blue suede boppers poured in. For a magical thunderman night. When the white walls hummed in harmony on adrenaline all night drive, they hit number one on AXX with their own red hot 45. And now the memory lanes of my hometown are paved by those Eau Claire boys laying down. That three chord moment in time. The message came in a tearful late night call. Now the Stratocasters hang silent on a cold dark wall. But tonight when I'm singing my songs, I can hear him playing along. Generations collide, but the rock and roll spirit lives on. Like a magical thunderman night. And the best things in life, they are free. You can give them to the birds and the bees. Give me some money, that's what I want. Like a magical thunderman night. Give me some money, that's what I really want. On a magical thunderman night. Um, 
really, if I would have had any uh, guts or the testosterone version of having anything, um, I would have asked uh, Kim and Elise to sing that first song with me, but I, I'm really quite uh, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and from, um, even though I'm from Wisconsin, I actually have a song with the uh, name Kurt Cobain in it. And it was written when I was in Key West. I was playing this festival, and they give you this badge, like a lanyard with a thing on it. And on the back of it, it's got a schedule of everybody who's playing for four days. And I'm thinking, I'm in Key West. Why do I have? I don't want anybody telling me where I gotta be forever. So, uh, if you ever go to a place like that, don't pay any attention to the brochures. You're way better off overhearing somebody who says. I wonder what's down this alley. You'll have a lot better night. You'll get home eventually, and the stories will be way better. Herded like sheep through the charter jet line. Everybody says you'll have a hell of a time. Tropical getaway safe and clean. The comforts of home, a vacationer's dream. If you'd like a little bit more urges that you'd like to explore, then you come with me. Come with me. Come with me to the dark side of the island. Where Houdini's at the bar doing sleight of hand tricks For the charter boat captain from the river sticks Overweight, overdose, bleach, blonde hair Cemetery perfume hanging in the air Hitler's watercolors hanging on the wall Janis Joplin sings last call His last call on the dark side of the island See it's last call on the dark side of the island Color brochure pegs a can miss trip. Happy hour sail on the hotel ship. Cheap Mexican beer in the afternoon. Got a karaoke guy doing buffet tunes. Stars on the water. Stars on the water. If you'd like a little bit more balls to the wall, flat out full bore. Then you come with me, come with me, come with me to the dark side of the island, where Kurt Cobain and Ernest Hemingway drink a shotgun toast to the NRA, held to skelter with your fun, fun friends, smile Ted Bundy's got a telephoto lens, Norman Bates wearing mama's shawl, John Belushi sings last call, his last call. On the dark side of the island, you'll get speed balls on the dark side of the island. How life sucks when you play it safe. Bored to death is written on your grave. Well, you're headed for home because your week's all done. Homogenized, sanitized theme park fun. Say goodbye with a superficial kiss. Can't help thinking that there's something you missed. If you'd like a little bit more deep down dark where the demons roar, then you come with me. Come with me. Come with me to the dark side of the island. You're back to the door, hold it, aces and eights, Amelia's flight's just a little bit late. Meet the shadowy figure from the grassy knoll, dance with the devil, blame rock and roll. Hunter Thompson, guns and alcohol, Warren Zevon's writing down it all. For the last call on the dark side of the island, you'll hear werewolves on the dark side of the island. So won't you come with me, come with me, come with me to the dark side of the island.
cheery little ditty. So anyway, my kids, um, despite my age, I have two kids in college and one still in high school. And actually, it's it's odd because um, last night, uh, my youngest son, who's a junior in high school, is actually a U.S. Senate page from Wisconsin. So he was on the floor of the chamber last night during the State of the Union. And at the end of the thing, there he was, and then Obama was signing speeches. And this all, all of a sudden, PBS panned, and my son looked like he was photobombing the president. His head was like this big on the TV screen. And then my daughter is actually, it's very strange, um, they overlap by two weeks. She started her job Monday as a White House intern. So she was on the video crew last night in the uh, executive office building or whatever they call it. Um, but so they're, my kids are PBS kids, very nerdy. And uh, they asked me about that song, and I said, well, most of that's just basic American history. And so my daughter actually got the lyrics and looked everything up and wanted to know who Ted Bundy was and what Aces and Aids referred to, and that's Wild Bill Hickok being shot in Deadwood, South Dakota. And so, uh, and Helter Skelter was Charles Manson, and the Fun Fun Friends were when he tried to get a record deal through the Beach Boys. So it was all tied in there. My daughter does a history paper on it. And about three weeks after that, they had parent-teacher conferences. And uh, I went in, and I introduced myself to the history teacher. I said, hi, I'm Haley's dad. And she goes, this explains things. But the good thing was I didn't have to do any more parent-teacher anything. Actually, that's not true. I got fired in shop. But anything of uh, substance I was excluded from from there on out. But uh, not everything I write is overly weird. <coughs> this was a song that was used in a documentary, um, and it wasn't written for the documentary. They heard me play it, uh, and a guy was, Eau Claire, Wisconsin had a Unaroyal plant. And after World War II, U.S. rubber put all its money into it, and for a long time it was the most modern tired plant in the world. And so this little Chippewa Valley had the highest per capita income in the state of Wisconsin, and then as the cycle goes, they built new plants and did other things, and by the end of it, it was the uh, oldest and least effective plant, and it was sold to Michelin, and they sent out a note saying that everybody's job was safe, and then they... A week later, they sent it out saying they're going to shut it down. So this guy heard me play this and asked if they could use it. Another friend of mine refers to this as one of my grumpy old man songs. Coffee black, hold the cream. You look back on your American dream. Retired early, they took the jobs when the company blew south just like a dried up crop. Landed down in Mexico A takeout order, a hundred jobs to go Now you're sitting every morning In some coffee shop booth What else do you do When you're yesterday's The beat was straight and it damn sure held Blue collar pride in a busted knuckle trade. A working worker, both American made. Now some robots taking your place. No heart, no soul, red, white, and blue disgrace. And by the way, thanks for your union dues. Paid 26 years to become yesterday's news. When life rolls by, it's a half-full train. Some get on, others remain. If hard work is its own reward, how come you're waving goodbye instead of getting on board? Answer me, Lord, how do you choose? Yesterday's news. How do you choose? Yesterday's news College waiter shows his new tattoo Pretty cool says mega death rules Don't mean much to a battle scarred guy Whose own faded forearm said Semper Fi That was bought with blood Paid for with lives 
forgotten duty for a flag that flies. It's just ancient history to a generation who got no time for yesterday's news. Distance grows year by year. I'm here to tell you that the buck stops here. Not a single day goes by where we don't owe something to that kind of guy who did what was needed. No questions asked. Maybe it's time we gave a little something back. Stop and say thanks at a coffee shop booth. Out of respect for yesterday's news. When life rolls by, it's a half full train. Some get on, others remain. If hard work is its own reward, how come you're waving goodbye instead of getting on board? Promise me, Lord, you'll never lose sight of yesterday's news. Don't ever lose sight of yesterday's news. It's always nice to know you can get a gig at any VFW hall in the country. Is there anybody that contributed to my $1.4 billion tonight? <sighs> Whatever I want. <laughs> Actually, whatever my wife lets me do with it. Um, this was a song I wrote. Um, it was a ditty, actually, and it was recorded by a band out of Illinois. And uh, when I left the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, I took a buyout out of the uh, lucrative newspaper business, that print journalism field that has such a bright future. And uh, I wrote a goodbye email, and I didn't really know the what the code they gave me was, and, and I found out later that that was the magic button that sent the email to the entire company. So if anybody wants to know how to burn every employment bridge in 800 words or less, I have the answer to that. So anyway, here's for anybody who bought a uh, lottery ticket. dead stuck in traffic you know i'm headed for a job i hate ain't nothing moving but the hands on my watch full throttle hurry up and wait i'm sick of the rat race can't take one more day my life is too short to live it this way i'm dialing the office put the boss man on I'm calling in gone, calling in gone, a full-fledged adios. I'm trading this cubicle for a spot on the coast. I'm going to find me a beach, oh, that's where I belong. I'm not calling in sick, I'm calling in gone. What the hell are you doing? I keep asking myself. Only I know the answers. There's nobody else. Like a rat on the wheel. That's how I compare. I'm running all day. But I'm getting nowhere. So enough is enough. Man, I'm saying so long. I'm not calling in sick. I'm calling in gone, calling in gone, a full-fledged adios. I'm trading this cubicle for a spot on the coast. I'm going to find me a beach, oh, that's where I belong. I'm not calling in sick, I'm calling in gone. No jacket and tie, no morning commute. I'm waving goodbye, one finger salute. Going down to the ocean, I'm gonna lay in the sun. 
the only boss I'll hear is singing Born to Run. No, I got plenty of room. Well, why don't you come along? We won't be calling in sin. We'll be calling in God. Calling in God. A full fledged adios. I'm trading this cubicle for a spot on the coast. I'm going to find me a beach. Oh, that's where I belong. I'm not calling in sick. I'm calling in gone. I'm not calling in sick. Calling in gone. I'm not under the weather, man. I'm totally gone. Okay, like I said, I normally don't do a lot of covers, but... Actually, I used to do these contests where I'd play old songs that like were those one-hit wonders, and I'd give away CDs when my family's not here to tell me what I can and can't do. But instead, we'll just... I was working at a desk. I was in the New Milwaukee Journal Sentinel newsroom, and I'd get all this, you know, either... Most of it online, but I was getting the AP wire, and it was one of those names that came across my desk, and you're reading it, and it's like, this can't be true. And ironically, the guy was supposed to play in... Uh, there's a place in Wisconsin called Wisconsin Dells. It's where culture goes to die. It is the epitome of tacky, but they do have this theater there. And uh, it's where, like, the people that, after they're done playing at those casinos down by Tacoma, and they drop down to the next level, they go to the theater in the Dells. So if you guys want to personally meet the 37th bass player for Fog Hat, Wisconsin Dells. And this was actually written by a guy named John Stewart, not the comedian, but a songwriter who uh, wrote this great song for Roseanne Cash called uh, Runaway Trains. He was a member of the Kingston Trio, and he wrote a song called July, You're a Woman. He made a comeback record probably in the late 70s, early 80s, produced by Lindsey Buckingham called Bombs Away Dream Babies. But anyway, he wrote this a long time ago. Oh, I could hide neath the wings of a bluebird as she sings. The six o'clock alarm will never ring. But it rings and I rise, wipe the sleep out of my eyes. Shaven razors cold and it stings. So cheer up, sleepy Jean. I said, oh, what can it mean to a daydream believer and a homecoming queen? You once thought of me as a white knight on a steed. Now you know how happy we could be. Oh, our good times start and end without dollar one to spend. How much, baby, do we really need? Cheer up, sleepy Jean. I said, oh, what can it mean to us? Daydream believer and a homecoming queen. So cheer up, sleepy Jean, baby. Oh, what can it mean to a daydream believer and a homecoming queen? like prom night gone to hell <laughs> but when you have an older cousin that played all that stuff you just kind of remember it you know and uh which is 
not Eddie Vedder. It's J. Frank Wilson and the Cavaliers. But I uh, spent most of my career as a sports writer in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I covered the Brewers at home for 17 years, which means that everybody here has covered as many World Series games as I have. Came out here, and I was very fortunate to uh, weasel my way into the press box. So I got to do about 20 uh, Mariners games for AP and MLB as a writer this summer. And I uh, outlasted Ricky Weeks by about four months for $4 million less. But back when the Sea League family owned the Brewers, they weren't very good. They are playing in the old stadium. And it was like late September. You know, it's about 23 degrees in Milwaukee. There's about... I always used to laugh because you'd get up in the morning and read the paper, and they had the box score would have the capital A for attendance, and it would say 17,312. And it's like I was in the ballpark. I saw the 312 people. I have no idea where these other 17,000 were hiding every night. So, you know, the Brewers would be 40 games out of first. It's spitting snow. No matter what the weather was like, there'd be seven college kids in the front row and left field with their shirts off and something written on their chest. Then about two beers into the game, they'd get the order mixed up. You didn't know what, they're, what they were spelling. And then you realize that somewhere down the road, I'm going to end up working for one of these guys. But we were trying to figure out how to bring people into the stadium. And a friend of mine who's still a sports writer thought what Milwaukee really needed was hard liquor and handgun night. This has really nothing to do with baseball other than it was that line was used in a press box and... Uh, told my wife, I said, it's just one of those lines, you know, you can't just leave it laying there. And then she heard the song and said, you probably could have left that one alone. That full moon could have, should have been a big round yellow clue. The howling should have been a hint as well. A Kodak moment from Rod Serling's favorite family album. Or maybe just the normal clientele. On hard liquor and handgun night A two-ingredient recipe for one hell of a fight Mix it up, shake and stir, rest of the night's just a blur On hard liquor and handgun night Hard liquor and handgun night Hard liquor and handgun night There's one guy with a cowboy hat and a chrome magnet forehead Remembering the old days and his teeth The TV's on, he sings along to some hygiene commercial Lights a camel from the pack roll in his sleeve Betty's got her dancing shoes and man, her feet are flying Like a lawyer at a five-car freeway crash the TV preacher and the barman divvy up her welfare. Could you get this round? She's a little short of cash. On hard liquor and handgun night. Two ingredient recipe for one hell of a fight. Mix it up, shake and stir. Rest of the night's just a blur. On hard liquor and handgun night. The salesman works the bar just like a congressman on bribe day. His handshake and his hair both shine with grease. Is it muscle? Is it fat? Hey, pencil neck, what you looking at? I'd suggest you take it up the street. A couple pulls with pool cues like some twisted barroom gothic. Her earrings match the hickeys on her neck. His jeans hang low, it's quite a show, that shot of gluteal cleavage. Her shirt says you ain't first, but you'll be next. On hard liquor and handgun night. Two ingredient recipe for one hell of a fight. Mix it up, shake and stir, rest of the night's just a blur. On hard liquor and handgun night. Figured I should take my leave before they pull the wings off this out-of-town social butterfly. As I was leaving, I was careful to let them see both loaded barrels. Just my way of saying goodbye. 
on hard liquor and a handgun night. Two ingredient recipe for one hell of a fight. Mix it up, shake and stir, rest of the night's just a blur on hard liquor and handgun night. Hard liquor and handgun night. Hard liquor and handgun night. One cheery ditty after another. And you really think, you know, I'm not, musically, I'm not really good, but I'm great at daycare. <laughs> you think I forgot the words, the wheels on the bus? <laughs> and they go, the kids go up and down, and the wipers go swish, 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 of course. This is just a song that was played, and, and sometimes I, I see, I don't, I mean, it's obvious I don't speak music theory, I speak record collection, and so somebody will say, well, you're going to want to swamp this up, and and, and um, the guitar player, the producer's like, oh, you mean like John Fogarty, and I'm thinking, no, you know, like, you know who Tony Joe White is, or this this lead guitar part sounds like Dave Edmonds off this record, and, and so we kind of communicate like that, and so some of the songs I write... Um, I, 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 what I hear in my head is not how I play them solo or how they're on the records. I mean, so it's hard to get things out. I mean, it's not like Son of Sam or anything. It's just kind of hard to translate what I hear in the shower. But this was the, the uh, title track of the last uh, full record of original songs I did. And uh, we were remodeling our house, which is now in its seventh year of remodeling. And we had taken up the tiles downstairs, and I drew a chalk outline in, on our basement floor. And it was perfect for an album cover, but I realized later... Um, you know, I mean, you take off that old tile, and uh, then you realize after the fact that it might be full of asbestos. So that's why I, went, I sent the kids down there to finish up. And um, But after I drew this, then my wife gave me a scrub bucket, and the chalk and that paste that had been down under that tile, all it did was smear it around for like four days. But um, some people dig the front row seat. When the circus comes to town Roar of the lions, the high wire thrills The Volkswagen full of clowns I want to be the human cannonball They shoot right through the air Worry about the landing About the time that I get there and then the chalk out a line that I leave behind will be the silhouette of a fool. When I die, make it look like I was doing something cool. Said when I die, make it look like I was doing something cool. Stop by a roadside revival tent a fire and brimstone show ranting about being born again a mulligan for your soul i never thought about a second chance for when judgment day comes down never saw a hearse with a u-haul trailer skedaddling out of town the chalk out a line that I leave behind Don't be the silhouette of a fool So when I die, make it look like I was Doing something cool Boogie men hide under beds And boogie girls want to dance not sure which one scares me more, psycho killers or romance. The train wrecks, bad checks, live and learn, especially oh, from mistakes. The one regret I'll never have is a chance I didn't take. See, life's not a problem to be solved, it's a mystery to explore so devil's den or disneyland as long as i ain't bored 
So Devil's Den or Disneyland, as long as I ain't bored. And then the chalk out a line that I leave behind will be the silhouette of a fool. So when I die, I'm making look like I was doing something cool. Okay. It's kind of cool to have these kids here because I've outgrown that part. But for those of you with children, you realize that there is a difference between a trip and a vacation. I used to cover about, I'd write like 90 basketball stories in six weeks, and that would pay for my family to go sit on the beach in Sanibel, Florida. And it never dawned on me that there was only one of us doing all this writing while five of us would end up sitting on the beach. But a lot of times we couldn't afford to fly, so we would... <coughs> Put five people in a stereotypical minivan with Wisconsin plates driving 10 miles slower than the speed limit from Milwaukee to Fort Myers. And it's actually very easy. You go to Chicago and you turn left. And then you go to Indianapolis and you turn right and you just go into hit water and then you're there. We didn't know that. Have anybody ever been to Indiana by any chance? South of Indiana. Indianapolis is I-65. In Indiana, what we didn't know is Indiana has this agreement with the lower 48 states that on holiday weekends, all the other states ship their extra orange highway barrels over to Indiana, and they line them up for hundreds of miles on I-65, bring it down to one lane in each direction at 35 miles an hour. So we're in a minivan with three little kids, and by this time, the conversation consists of me saying, do I have to come back there? And you should have gone before we left. So as we inch along, we get into Kentucky, and we're in, in uh, Louisville. We get to right past that is Bowling Green, Kentucky, which is the home of the National Corvette Museum. And I know that because we were stuck under that sign for two hours. And that was just to get us to the gravel road on the detour. So we come around the corner, and we are out in the middle of Banjoville. And I don't know who did this guy's marketing, but you got to admire the effort because we come around the corner, and here's this old beat-up van, and the guy's got like 900 black velvet paintings for sale. It's like the Mecca. This is where they all come from. And to their credit, my two sons go, Dad, stop. we got to get these. And my wife is in that voice that means... Not on these walls in this house in my lifetime. So as I'm explaining to my sons that you, well, first off, that your mother has just given us a time frame, but also that you can't always get what you want in life. We, we drive by very slowly. He's got 900 paintings, but you don't get 900 choices. You get two. Some of them they're looking at you. Some of them are in profile. My personal favorite is the one where they paint a little tear on the cheek. On a country corner, gravel, parking lot, sits the old 40 Connell line van that's all but shot. From the guts of the rusted out van springs a spiritual roadside stand where the and roll exchange daily thoughts spend all day nonchalantly leaning on the fender the pictures of cool as the bait of a roadside vendor but to pass the time away they talk with each other all day and wonder about the irony that brought them together forever. Man, I'm talking about the kings of black velvet, Jesus Christ and Elvis, the religion of contradiction side by side. And some would whisper it's kind of scandalous Shout it's downright blasphemous, but you can take them both home for 
Jesus says every morning when I see your pompadour hair. It reminds me of something that drives me to total despair. I'm talking about the TV preachers by the dozen who claim to be the second coming. We drove the money changers from the temple and put them on the air. Elvis says, my man, I know exactly how you feel. There's no part of my act those impersonators didn't steal. You can't pray in a public school, but there's no law against singing. Don't be cruel. When it comes to the message, I got the better end of the deal. The philosophical kings of black velvet. Jesus Christ and Elvis. The religion of contradiction side by side. Some would whisper it's kind of scandalous. Shout it's downright blasphemous, but you can take them both home for $39.95. Well, they'd bet on every car and who was gonna buy what. And they go double or nothing on the totals from a tourist bus. But they could never figure out how someone stone cold sober would spend their money on the dogs playing poker instead of a couple of good looking velvet honks like us. Well, they talked of Colonel Parker and Judas and friends who failed them. Elvis joked about the farmer's daughter and the traveling salesman. About Memphis Mafia and movie chicks, how Jesus saves, but Elvis lives. And if the pearly gates are bigger than the ones at Graceland. Those conversational kings of black velvet, Jesus Christ and Elvis. The religion of contradiction side by side. And some would whisper it's kind of scandalous. Shout it's downright blasphemous, but you can take them both home for $39.95. Well, they talked about the tabloid press and the thirst for scandal. Jesus says, I put on some tunes when it's too much to handle. Elvis, my friend, don't take this wrong, but I always preferred those surfing Beach Boy songs. What do you expect from a guy always wearing sandals? But there's one part of your act that I found particularly thrilling. It was your clothes in line from the show at the Vegas Hilton. Cause when they rolled that stone away, it would have been cool to have the big boy say, Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus has left the building. Those resurrected kings of black velvet. Jesus Christ and Elvis, the religion of contradiction side by side. Some would whisper it's kind of scandalous. Shout it's downright blasphemous, but you can take them both home for $39.95. Spend eternity on the walls of the double Y. I said, hey, 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 amen. Thank you. Nothing like those old James Taylor songs. You guys are very kind to stick around. I know you came out to sing, uh, see Kim and Elise, who, if they had, like, four more songs, they could do the next 20 minutes. <laughs> but the next time, they will. So they are very, very good. I like them a lot. I'd rather listen to you than play. I really would. For one thing, it's really hot up here. It's a good thing I'm in such peak physical condition or I probably couldn't do this which I'm getting by on that sit-up from 1981. Now, they did sound great. They were, they were really, really good. I liked them a lot. Actually, uh, people that can actually sing are always intimidating. Well, I threatened to do this earlier, but... Uh, The 
said, oh, where, oh, where can my baby be? The Lord took her away from me. I'm gone to heaven, so I gotta be good, so I can see my baby when I leave this world. We were out on a date in my daddy's car. We hadn't driven very far. There in the road, but straight up ahead, the car was stalled, the engine was dead. I couldn't stop, so I swerved to the right. I'll never forget the sound that night. The crying tires, the busting glass, the painful scream that I heard last. Where, oh, where can my baby be? The Lord took her away from me. I'm going to heaven, so I gotta be good, so I can see my baby when I leave this world. woke up, the rain was pouring down, there were people standing all around, something warm running in my eyes, but I found my baby somehow that night, raised her head, and then she smiled and said, hold me darling for a little while, held her close, I kissed her our last kiss, I found the love that I knew I would miss. Now she's gone, even though I hold her tight. I lost the love of my life that night. Said, oh, where, oh, where can my baby be? Lord took her away from me. I'm going to heaven, so I gotta be good. So I can see my baby when I leave the the world. relatively harmless cover everybody knows the words to it nobody ever knows who sang it that's one of those ones you say oh i gotta tell me all you gotta do is tell me who sang this i'll give you a cd and i'm like maybe giving away one in seven years but now though it's like it's the world's fastest googler is usually the person that wins some 12 year old you know actually this is weird because i i, I live in west seattle and i was very fortunate the guy that i grew up with had a vacant house over there that was furnished He's done pretty well for himself. He's never been married, doesn't have kids. So he wasn't even living there. He didn't even disconnect the Internet. He said, why don't you just rent it from me? So I did, and apparently the new house, and it's the, the closer you get to the water, obviously, the more expensive it is. But so four terraces down is kind of by that ferry stop. That's Eddie Vedder's house. He's got, like, these signs, you know, no loitering and a camera of signs looking at you and stuff but we don't socialize much but he does live there apparently so but i said because i was a sports writer i thought maybe if i throw the cubs media guide over the fence and he would come out so it's all right if we don't keep him here all the way till nine we'll do a couple more and uh two more call it a night so when do i get to see you guys play again Who's your booking agent? You guys could play. I mean, you really could. You need to get into one of those little festivals right now where all you got to do is like 30 minutes and then they cart you off and bring in somebody else. Well, you could. You could. You'd be sick of me sending you emails and telling you what to do. This is another one of those old man songs that I wrote. And uh, when I, I taught last semester in Wisconsin, I taught journalism. And I would tell my class that you can uh, bridge a generation gap with an attention span. And, of course, they'd look at me and go, what? Left foot, right foot, over again. One, two, one, to keep time. Rugged individuals march off the assembly line. Choose me, choose me, we'll pay the price. 
you yourself the sacrifice cause the morning mirror overlooks the fool spare me the tedium of cool spare me the tedium of cool Norman Rockwell paints the scene a plaid skirt countered by the shopping malls huge sale at sluts or us her clothes were plain her clothes were clean just not part of the trendy scene so her inner beauty drowns in tears at school Spare me the tedium of cool Spare me the tedium of cool Hair, the music, the clothes, the car What you have is what you are Let the dollar sign help define The value of your self-worth Headphones on to start each day, tuning out the world. Conversation fades away, isolated girl. Facebook texting MP3, tuning in to me, me, me. When did a simple smile become against the rules? Spare me the tedium of cool C-O-O-L Anyone can spell But when they understand It'll be a cool day in hell Little boy, don't run too fast Rarely hits the ball Used to being last one picked If he's picked it all A single mom does her best No new shoes from this month's check Why are the whispers of the want-not kids so cruel? Spare me the tedium of cool Oh, the hair, the music, the cars, the clothes Sometimes cool just flat out blows Like an ill wind that caves in the walls of your soul Washed up pitchman on TV He sells the latest stuff 1-800-BOUGHT-IT-ALL This house ain't big enough Smoking mirrors, subprime loans Out McMansion next to the Jones Till the bankers take that neighborhood's crown jewel Spare me the tedium of cool Spare me the tedium of cool So left foot, right foot, turn around Step on out of that line That Einstein kid was pretty strange He turned out just fine Conjure a big Groucho grin Join no club that lets you in Cause an open mind is an artist's greatest tool Spare me the tedium of cool Spare me the tedium of cool 
spare me the tedium of cool. Thank you so much for sticking around. I'm sure I'll see you guys again until you have to get that restraining order. <laughs> um, I'm going to close, actually, with a, a song by a friend of mine. A guy he plays at a boating island out in Lake Erie called Putin Bay, Ohio. He's an older guy who looks just like Ernest Hemingway, and he vacillates between these incredibly raunchy songs and these ballads. And his co-writer for many years was a guy named Shel Silverstein. And uh, so this was... Uh, Written by Pat Daly, who gave me permission to use this every night, which I do. Never set a clock to wake me up. I leave that to the coffee in my cup. As the world assembles, I will be the absentee. That's just what it's like being me. I am a man who wants no telephone. I have no need to speak when I'm alone. My friends say I'm reclusive. On that I would agree. That's just what it's like being me. I spend my days thinking up a song But sometimes all the words just come out wrong On those days I do nothing but just sit down by the sea That's just what it's like being me One time I tried to throw my heart around it wound up in pieces on the ground Now I make no promise and I get no guarantee That's just what it's like being me Nothing lasts forever so they say Tomorrow is not mine like yesterday so I'll hang on to each passing moment most tenaciously. That's just what it's like being me. I never set a clock to wake me up. I leave that to the coffee in my cup. As the world assembles, I will be the absentee. That's just what it's like being me. That's just what it's like being me. Thank you so much. Hope you'll have me back sometime, and I hope to stumble across you guys at some point. You know, those lucrative truck stop gigs at 2 in the morning. Yeah, yeah. My guitar likes to actually be played well every now and then. And Elisa and, and Kim, of course. Is this mic uh, set? I'm just going to do a little bit of a tribute song tonight just because I kind of taught myself this today. So it's really rough. So I kind of like the fact that I get to play it for the first time for a very small and intimate crowd. So are my volume levels pretty... So you guys ever heard of a, a, a guy named David Bowie? I imagine if you hadn't heard of David Bowie, you probably would have this week, right?
such an early song Heard a rumor from ground control Oh no, don't say it's true They got a message from the action man I'm happy, hope you're happy too I've loved all I've needed I've loved sordid details fall away Shrieking of nothing No money and I ain't got no hair But I'm hoping to kick But the planet is growing Ashes to ashes Punk to punky We know me To Tom to junkie Strung up on heaven's high Stay clean tonight Well, the little green wheels are following me Oh, no, not again I'm stuck with a valuable friend I'm happy, hope you're happy too One flash of the light but no smoking pistol Ashes to ashes I've never done bad things I've never done anything out of the blue Want an axe to break the ice Want to calm down right now Ashes to ashes, funk to funky We know me to Tom to Junkie Strung up That's how we do that one tonight. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Thanks to Jim. Thanks to Tim and Elise. We'll do it again. Come on back.